Hey everyone, welcome back to The Restaurant Show and I have the salty dog here with Executive Chef Herb Britton. Hello! So Hello. nice to have you back on the Great show. Great to be back. A crazy summer? Absolutely. <laughs> One big blur. <laughs> One big blur. It's like, it's already October. <laughs> well, um, so you guys, actually, this is a great time for you guys out there because the weather is just perfect for sitting outside and checking out the sites down there. Yep, that's Beach, for right? sure. Best weather we can get right now. It really yeah. is. So what kind of things, are, I mean, I see a little bit of touch of summer mm -hmm. here, but then I see some fantastic seafood. So what are we preparing today, yep, a, chef? a little bit of both. Yeah, yeah, while the summer's ending, we still have some great watermelon. Yes, yes. So I'm going to be doing a watermelon salsa. Okay. Uh, but the fish that we're using is a uh, is a king salmon. King salmon. Uh, okay. Yep, this is a wild caught king salmon. Um, they call it Chinook. It's from the British Columbia. Okay. Uh, it's really high in uh, in omega threes. So that's the big you. thing that yes. everybody is uh, kind of going back to salmon. Salmon kind of yeah. got, uh, I'd say, maybe a little old. Right, for a right, little right, bit. right. And uh, now with just the omega threes and this and that, and uh, just their diet as they're it's going a up the river. Food almost. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay, so this is what we're adding in right now. We're gonna sear that off. Yep. So okay. I've got this. Uh, I've got a little blackening spice and a little uh, little steak seasoning on one side. Right on and one I'm, side. Okay. I'm gonna put that presentation side down because that's gotcha. what we're gonna end with. Gotcha. So that's what you're gonna season on that side first, and then sear it. Mm -hmm. And again, you can hear his oil. That's because he had a nice hot pan to start right. out with. I'm gonna just season a little bit of the just the uh, the, the bottom side. Same seasoning. Both sides. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same seasoning. Now, do you prefer skin on, skin off, or for for you, does it matter or? For me, I, I guess it's more uh, it's more friendly to guess to yes. take the skin off because they're not weirded out it, about it, it even though you is. can eat I it. Agree. You know? I agree. I like the skin on, but my kids would not like the skin on. <laughs> exactly. That's a, one of those things where if you got that skin, you want it crispy exactly. so that you know you can actually exactly. bite into it. I'm going to put the shrimp on at the end, and we're going to garnish that so gotcha. that cooks a little bit faster okay. than, the, than the salmon. So with this uh, with this watermelon salsa, got a nice chunk of seedless watermelon. Okay, and um, it is uh, still accessible this time of year. Oh, it absolutely, really is. absolutely. It gives that nice, fresh, light um, flavor profile oh, to sure, it. Oh, sure, sure. A little it. sweet, and then with the saltiness of, yeah. uh, of everything else. Love it. So I like to have myself, and you know the way calling it a salsa and whatnot. I kind of just want these uh, the watermelon to kind of mimic the the tomatoes. The tomato. The okay. Salsa. So really, you're taking salsa, but you're just replacing, giving that little twist to it. Right. But it still has the moisture. It has a little bit of that crunch. Right. But a sweetness to it. So we've got Love the it. watermelon right there. Love it. And then what we're going to add to this? It smells so good. <laughs> it does smell it good. It really it? smells it makes good. You think of yeah. Summer, that's for sure. I just want to take one right now. <laughs> We have mm, some uh, sweet. some green onions. Gotcha. I've got a little bit of parsley. Okay. I got some red onion. Good deal. So colorful too. Some cilantro. Okay, so you do have the onion mm -hmm. and the cilantro in there, and then the watermelon is being replaced. Yep. Fr from and, the tomatoes. And I even squeeze some the lime, lime yep, into it, just like a, just like a pico. I love it. So we've got that. What we'll do is give that a little toss. And Look as this, how uh, easy as this sits around that was. a little bit, it'll yeah. end up marrying the flavors a little bit. I love it. It's so nice and light. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna flip that, that nice salmon flip? over. All right, beautiful. And it what makes I'm it gonna look do? So easy. Yeah. <laughs> I know some friends that are like, "What do I do? <laughs> how do I know the shrimp is done?" <laughs> I don't want to die, like it's, but it's true though. I mean, I have some friends that they just don't cook at all. So, and the shrimp are pretty quick. That's why you're adding it a little bit towards the end there. Yep, that's for sure. Okay. And if, uh, if the pan's starting to get a little dry, I've got a little butter here. And that's when you would add butter, mm -hmm. not necessarily olive oil, but the butter. And why would why do you do? I mean, I know I would add butter. Well, the, I think I the butter, butter adds a little richness to yes, it. Yes, I love and, it. Uh, you know, and uh, that. Oh yeah, that and mix them with perfect. that uh, with that little bit of blackening seasoning yeah. in there too. So while that is happening there, I'm gonna take my uh, I'm gonna take my broccoli as well. Okay, so you're already gonna add you're gonna add so it gets all of those nice flavors. Yep, get some and, nice yeah. seasoning in there. I like that. Okay, so while we're letting that cook and fix up, what do you have going on? I know you guys, it's October, you guys have a ton of events going yep, on. Yep, we almost get busier than we normally I know, are. Yep. right? <laughs> every uh, every Saturday, if you go on our website at saltydog.com, you can uh, you can look at our list of events. Yeah. But we've got our uh, our biggest event, our oyster roast coming yeah, this Saturday, the 4th. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll be doing uh, oysters by the dozen. Okay. Uh, we start up at 4 o'clock. We'll have oh, so uh, live afternoon. entertainment outside. We'll yeah. have things for the kids to do. 
face painting and that kind of stuff. And now this is in South Beach, so you are going to have to mm -hmm. go into Sea. If you're visiting, you're going to go into Sea Pines, um, and it is towards the back of Sea Pines. But it's yep. such a beautiful drive, and it's it's really cool because you can check out all of the things going on Absolutely. in the South Beach area. But now with entertainment, does that start at four that or at is it a little bit later? No, okay. four o'clock, and that'll go to uh, to ten o'clock. So if you have mm -hmm. soccer games and all that stuff in the daytime, <laughs> you can don't worry, you're still gonna make right. the event. Cause I know that starts to happen. Um so and then as far as the oysters, you can buy them by the dozen. Can you are there gonna be like uh, buckets of oysters that you can shuck There'll yourself. There'll be buckets, you shuck them yourself. Oh, we'll have awesome. them roasting in three different pits. Yeah, awesome. And uh, they're gonna be golf oysters. They're uh, by the dozen. Uh, we'll have our full cookout menu open as well. I so it's a it. it's a great, great, great event. Great event, and then it's great mm. weather. All right, let's start planting this up. It looks beautiful. All right, right here I've got, uh, I roasted up some shallots and made some mashed potatoes with oh, it. Oh, that looks so good. Can't go wrong with mashed no, potatoes with some roasted shallots in it. I just wanna it. like do this too. <laughs> I mean, I'll do that later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells so good, guys. And there, we're going to put the salmon. Chef, like that's that. gorgeous. All right. And uh, about a couple little shrimp. Oh, just little ones, here. yeah. Those are nice. Those are <laughs> very little. Love it. Love the presentation so far. That is gorgeous. And uh, there's some broccoli. How about that? And you can smell that blackening seasoning cooking in the butter. Yeah, it's so got a good. little, little, uh, it. little spice to Love it. Love it. Love it. And then here's our uh, <laughs> <So> <laughs> here's the watermelon sauce and look at all the colors. It is Doesn't gorgeous, it nice? chef. That is a beautiful plate and very filling. And Love last, it. I took some maraschino cherry juice and some balsamic vinegar. Beautiful. And I uh, made a little oh, glaze chef, out of that's it. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Love to having you back. Absolutely. And you guys make sure you check out all the events on the Salty Dog website, and uh, we'll be seeing you this uh, this fall. Awesome. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>